What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video and today I've got a pretty cool story that was sent in to me by somebody that actually is the manager of like an ice cream shop. Uh, I guess their aunt owns an ice cream store and they got a pretty good gig being the manager of the ice cream store for her so you know. They're also in charge of a lot of the hiring and whatnot since they're the most trusted employee and this is the story of the time they interviewed someone that was just an absolute entitled monster. Which uh, you know I'm not gonna lie seems pretty entertaining so I figured that's what we're going to be doing today, so without further ado, let's go. All right, so as I said, the person that sent this to me was, you know, in day-to-day -day terms, basically in charge of this ice cream store. The aunt was the official owner, but they were in charge of hiring, they were in charge of day-to-day -day operations, and, uh, you know, it's not like hiring for this ice cream store was some, like, insane, super complicated thing. For the most part, as long as the people applying for the job had a pulse, wouldn't steal, and could scoop ice cream, they were pretty solid employees, and so, you know, it wasn't like it was really a super hard thing to be in charge of hiring. On top of it, they were in a good location, they had a lot of customers that would tip well, so it was a pretty popular job. And so, you know, for the most part, finding people to work there wasn't difficult. But as I said, this is the story time of the worst interview they've ever had to do, which was with a particularly spoiled person that I'm gonna call Hank for the rest of this video. Uh, I guess Hank had applied online, you know, and they were looking for new employees, so the manager had hit him up and scheduled an interview for like a wedding. Wednesday, right? Sure enough, the Wednesday comes, the manager's sitting there, and Hank just doesn't show up. Which should have been a red flag, you know, you should have at that moment realized that hiring Hank was not going to be the best idea, but Hank was super apologetic, called the manager and was like, look, I totally forgot, that one's on me. And the manager, being a nice guy who, like, believes in second chances, said, look, you know, if it's a genuine accident, I'll give you one more chance to interview, but if you miss this next one, then, like, you just can't work here, right? So he ends up rescheduling Hank's meeting, and and, you know, he assumes that he's gonna show up, but from the rip, right off rip, it was kind of shown that Hank wasn't gonna take this too seriously. And listen, I'm not saying that working at an ice cream shop is like, you know, needs to be taken as seriously as NASA, but I feel like showing up for the interview is a pretty important part of getting a job. Anyways, the day of the second interview comes and he's sitting there waiting in the front of the store for Hank to show up, and he pulls up five minutes late, which once again is not the greatest thing ever, but you know, he's like, oh, I I'm so sorry, I got lost and the manager once again is like well you're here anyways we might as well do the interview. So they go into the back office to do the interview and Hank's first statement is just another giant red flag and he goes aren't you a little bit too old to be working here to the manager. Which listen man I don't think there's anything wrong with like being in charge of a store okay I don't think you can really be too old for that and on top of that even if you do think that if that's your personal opinion which I, I don't agree with it's probably not the best thing to say to the person that's in charge of hiring you, right? Like, let's say you go to a GameStop and a 75-year-old man is in charge. Sure, he's probably a little bit old to be in charge of the PlayStation 5, you know, but how do you, one, know that he's not an expert, and two, even if he's not, he is in charge of hiring, so you probably shouldn't insult him to his face when he's hiring you, you know? And obviously, the manager's a little bit insulted by that question, but he doesn't really, like, stop and let Hank know it and let him know that it throws him off. So he just goes, well, I'm the manager, my aunt owns it, you know, and so I'm kind of in charge of running running it day to day, I wouldn't necessarily consider that I'm too old to be managing it, but aren't you a little bit too old to be applying here? Just kind of zings him back, and listen, of course that's a little bit petty, but at the same time, what, is he supposed to just sit here and be insulted by Hank? And Hank kind of starts going off about how, like, yeah, he probably is a little old to be working here, you know, but he doesn't really need this job. He just got told by his mom and dad that they weren't going to pay for his apartment in college anymore unless he got a job. And then he proceeds to tell the manager that he doesn't really do quote-unquote work, so he just hopes that, you know, he can work one shift a week so his mom and dad will pay for anything, but they shouldn't expect him to really do that much. And once again, the manager is literally sitting there stupefied, because, like, this guy had blown off off one interview, begged for another one, and in the first three sentences he had said the manager was too old to work here, then said he didn't really want or need this job, he just needed it because mommy and daddy were cutting him off unless he got a job. Which like, why would you say that during a job interview, bro? Listen, I guess it's not really your fault if your mom and dad got a lot of money and offered to pay for your college. Like, you're not gonna say no, obviously, if your options are they'll pay for it or you take out loans, you're gonna let them pay for it. At least offer to help pay back, like I'm not gonna blame him for having parents, right? That being said, I feel like you should be self-aware enough to realize that you shouldn't be telling people to the job you're applying for that you don't really care about this job at all because mommy and daddy are going to take care of everything. Because that's not necessarily something the hiring manager wants to hear, bro. Oh, I, 
I don't need this. You probably should be a little bit more self-aware of the fact that people don't necessarily love people that have a trust fund waiting for them. You know, it is what it is. It is your life, but it's not something you should go around screaming at the top of your lungs mid-job interview. My mom and dad are loaded, and I don't do poor peasant work like you guys. It's just not the best look. Anyways, like I said, the manager is literally stupefied. They don't even know how to begin replying to that. You know, obviously, when they had started looking for somebody to hire, in their mind, they had wanted somebody that was willing to do quote-unquote work, which is just how Hank described it. You know, like, obviously, this manager isn't gonna hire somebody that doesn't really do work, because that's the entire point of hiring somebody in the first place. You know, I don't really know what Hank expected the manager to just be like, oh, that's awesome, dude. I don't really do work either. We can just go play Super Smash Bros. in the back while everyone else does everything. And so he kind of tells Hank right away, just so they don't waste any more time on this interview, he says, listen, dude, I appreciate you applying. I appreciate you coming in for the second interview, but I just really don't think that this is going to work. You know, you were late for this interview. You missed the first one. You're telling me now that you just don't really do work. So I'm just not seeing any world in which this really works out if I hire you. Which sure is brutal, but at the same time, it's honest. And at least this way, when Hank goes to apply to another job, he knows to like not necessarily mention that he's allergic to doing any labor. And all in all, considering how rude Hank was been, he didn't have to be that nice, but it was a pretty nice way to let him down, dude. And even if the manager had been a jerk and been like, Hank, you're the most pathetic excuse for a person I'd ever seen. I don't really know what Hank was expected. Obviously, you're not going to get hired if you're admitting that you don't want to work and you don't actually want the job. Like, I, I just, you know, am not understanding the negotiation tactic that Hank was going for here. This is useless to me. Well, man, you kind of uh, <laughs> let go of all your negotiating power there. But you would have thought that Hank, you know, just got slapped in the face because the look on his face is just pure shock that he would dare to say that it wasn't going to work out if he hired him. Because he starts asking the manager, like, well, what do you mean it won't work? And the manager kind of repeats himself. He's like, look, you're late. You don't do work. You don't even want the job. And Hank starts to argue with them. He's like, yeah, I told you I didn't want the job and I don't really plan on doing a lot of work, but I need it so my parents will keep paying for my college. Which, you know, I'm sure is your problem, Hank. No one's denying that that sucks. But, uh, this dude's not gonna hire you when you're still not even like, Oh no, I will work, I'm so sorry. You're just doubling down on the fact you're not gonna work. This guy's not gonna hire you. And even then, dude, what? Did you really think someone was gonna hire you for four hours a week and then, like, you were gonna do nothing so mom and dad keep paying for your college? I'm sure when they said, go get a job, they meant one that you do work at. Not just find a place that will, like, let you work two hours a week so we keep paying for college. And, you know, they are arguing back and forth for a little bit and they just keep kind of going back and forth with Hank repeating like I need this job or my parents won't pay for my college and the manager is like slowly running out of patience doing his best to do the whole you know letting the guy down easy thing and he's like well I'm so sorry that you know this is maybe will affect your college or you're gonna have to get another job but I need people that are willing to do work so it's just not gonna work considering you're literally telling me you don't want to do anything and he stands up and says like you know the interview was great it was nice to meet you but I think it's just best you go now because we're not gonna be going forward with hiring you. And at that point, Hank literally sitting in this chair folds his arms like a little kid throwing a temper tantrum and says that he's not gonna leave until, you know, he has a job. And the manager once again is like, look, dude, I'm not hiring you. You need to leave. And then he does arguably like the dumbest thing he could do in this situation and says, well, if you don't hire me, then I bet you're really gonna regret it because my dad's a really important guy. So you might want to just think long and hard about the fact that you're about to let me walk out that door. Listen, dude, no one cares who your dad is. I'm sorry. And the manager confirms that to him. He's like, I don't really care who your dad is. I just don't want you to work here with this attitude. And at that point, Hank stands up and he's like, aren't you going to ask who my dad is? Do you know who my dad is? And the manager, you know, just looks at him like, uh, no, you know, I'm not going to ask that because I don't care. And so he says, no, and I don't care, now leave. And at that point, Hank gets up and he starts walking out. And the entire time, he's like, big mistake, dude, big mistake. When you find out who my dad is, you're going to be pissed that you didn't hire me. You don't even know how big of a mistake you're having right now. Like, this is a mistake you're going to look back on and wish that you never made. And listen, man, even if your dad is like the president of the Ice Cream Association, if you tell the boss that you're never going to do any work and then hiring you is basically just so you can get paid by 
by your parents, it doesn't really matter who your parents are. They're just not gonna hire you. But of course, as they're walking out, he's just making comments about how, you know, you're really gonna regret not hiring me because my dad could have been a great friend of the business. And the manager, as they get to the door, looks at him and goes, well, you know, I guess I'll deal with that then. And finally, Hank leaves. And so he thinks that's the end of it. He starts telling his co-workers about how crazy the interaction was. He calls his aunt just to let her know, just in case someone calls and complains, you know. And his aunt is like, my goodness, people these days, you know, I don't know anyone whose dad is important enough to act that way in an interview. Which is what I really don't understand, bro. Like, even if your dad is some huge businessman in the area, wouldn't you want to be on your best behavior in a job interview so that way everyone's like, wow, his son's so professional. Like, why, if your dad is loaded, would that mean that you're allowed to just start dunking on everyone and screaming at the manager and not work? If anything, that's more pressure to understand business even better, you know? Like, I think this attitude, no matter who your parents are, is ridiculous. But yeah, dude, I'm sorry. I don't really care who your dad is. If you're just thinking that you're above doing work, I got bad news for you. Anyways, a few hours later, the manager is still there, serving ice cream to the good people, and this guy in a suit comes in on his Bluetooth, and he doesn't even get off his call in the Bluetooth when he comes in. He's still having a conversation with someone on the other end, and he's looking around, and the manager had a different hat than, like, the normal workers, right? And so he realizes that this guy must be in charge of something, and instead of being like, hey, are you the manager? Can I talk to you? Still on his Bluetooth, he mutes it for a second and goes, hey, you, and starts snapping at the manager. Which, listen, I think snapping at a worker to get their attention might be, like, the rudest thing you could do, bro. When I worked at the grocery store and people would snap at me, it would take everything in my power not to just be like, all right, dude, you can load your water bottles in your car yourself. But anyways, this guy in the suit starts snapping at the manager and is like, hey, can I talk to you? And sure enough, he walks over and the guy finally, like, it has his Bluetooth muted, he can still hear the phone call on the other side. And he starts talking to the manager about how, like, my son came in here for an interview earlier and I heard that you were very disrespectful to him. You know, my son's name is Hank. And the manager tells the dad, I was not disrespectful to your son, you know, I rescheduled his interview after he missed the first one, he was late to this one and he's not getting the job because his attitude during the interview was atrocious. You know, he's not trying to sugarcoat it, especially if you're actually gonna send your dad into the store to start complaining to the guy who interviewed you. You can't be surprised when the guy who interviewed you starts being like, nah, bro, your son sucks. But the dad apparently didn't care whether or not Hank had behaved appropriately, okay? That didn't matter. No, no, no. He's Mr. Important, so his son just needed to get hired anyways. Because he starts yelling at the manager like, why not? Do you have any idea how educated my son is his business. You've made a, a big mistake by not hiring him. A huge mistake. I can't believe you didn't hire him. Give me one good reason why he's not hired. And at this point, this manager is pissed off, right? Hank and his dad have now been causing disruptions in the store all day. He's not gonna hire Hank. It doesn't matter, bro. You could basically tell him he would get paid more to have Hank there. At this point, it's personal. So he looks at the dad and he goes, do you really want to know why I can't hire your son? And the dad folds his arm and goes, yeah, I'd love to hear this explanation. And he looks at the dad and he goes, because he acts like you. And the dad is just, <gasps> what? You know, can't believe that he said that. I'll have you know that I'm very important in this state, so I wouldn't cross me. If my son acts like me, that's even more of a reason to hire him. And the manager's like, no, he just acts insanely entitled and like he's better than everyone, and I'm not gonna deal with that as a manager. He acts like you, so that's why he's not getting a job. And he repeats it again. He's like, do you have any idea how important I am in this state? Do you know how big of an enemy you're making? And the manager is like, listen, dude, well, I've never heard of you, you know, and even if you are the most important person in the state, I'm not hiring Hank. I'm not going to do it. And at that point, after pulling out the whole, I'm really important, you better do what I say card and just getting ignored, the guy is just kind of standing there stunned. And he says quieter this time, not yelling. He's like, well, you're really going to regret this. This is a big mistake. I'm going to call the owner of the store. And the manager at this point is just having none of it. He goes, all right, go ahead, bro. Call the owner of the store, my aunt, and complain about how I didn't want to hire your kid who couldn't show up to a job interview on time. And at that point, the guy gets really quiet, right? And he just storms out of the store. The last thing he says before he leaves is like, you guys are going to regret it, but with way less enthusiasm than the first, you guys are going to regret it, you know? Like, even he's not really sure if they're going to regret it at this point. I just don't really understand the dad's end game here. Like, even if you are the most important person in the state, right? If you are the most important person in the state, why are you spending your time arguing with, like, random people at an ice cream store about whether or not they should hire 
hire your son. If you're really running a whole state, bro, you should have a little bit more to do than be worrying about whether or not your son got hired at ice cream store. Like, that just really should not be on your priority list if you in charge of an entire state of people. And uh, apparently the guy really wasn't that important because sure enough, the ice cream store never got swatted by like the FBI of the state, never got shut down by Mr. Ice Cream himself. So, uh, you know, I guess at the end of the day, Hank and his dad were not as important as they claimed to be. And even better on the manager for not hiring him because working with someone like that would have absolutely sucked. Could you imagine the amount of customer complaints Hank would get whenever someone asked him to do anything? But uh, yeah, moral of the story, show up to job interviews and don't mention your dad. If you guys did enjoy this video though, I would really appreciate you taking a second to press the like button. Let me know what you thought in the comment section down below. Pressing like just helps it hit recommended. Okay, I'm gonna count to two this time. Go press the like button. One, two. Okay, if you didn't, you're cursed. Seriously though, if you enjoy videos like this, subscribe. Turn on those notifications. And if you ever want to listen to the story times offline without gameplay, whatever floats your boat, I also post them on Spotify. So that link's down below. Feel free to check it out. And if you've made it this far into the video and you found it entertaining, if you could go ahead and comment the word Hank down below, I'd appreciate it. It helps me hit recommended and you know I like views. It is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, yeah, on that note, I'm pretty sure that'll do it for the video. Don't get anyone pregnant if you do. Make sure they're hot and hopefully I will see each and every single one of you guys next time in another video. I'm gonna go apply for a job and fight the manager. See y'all next time. I'm out. Peace.